Hey YouTube, it's another little 3D printing one. We're doing a benchmark benchy. A benchy is a boat. Benchy on the high seas. Arr. It's a boat and it's being printed with no supports or anything. Well, actually, I've put supports. Never mind, I wasn't supposed to do that. Arr. Anyway, it's a test to see how good this is. Uh, just a couple of points. I have um, linked all my parts here. Um, I put them on the Thingiverse and put them in the other video. If you want to do this with a BL Touch, I can put a config up. I'll put a config up on the Google Groups. Um, but the if you want to use my way of doing it, whoop, don't touch it. 33 millimeters behind on the Y, and nothing on the X and the Z, and a 0.0 no, no a, a minus 0 0.62 offset on the Z. That. So I'll link that in the description. So basically what you need to do is you need to make the wire carriage uh, 30, I think I made it 40 or 50 longer, so that basically you can get to both ends to scan and to print on. And now I've got the whole bed to print on, so that's 120 squared. Uh, and it's looking pretty good. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Oh later, we've lost the screen again, but we'll live with that because the results are pretty good that's the benchy I think we call that a success shouldn't have printed the uh, skirt but never mind so happy with that so there's a the little benchy detail is pretty good overhangs pretty good tiles on the roof pretty good no supports or anything and what I've never been able to get it to do if I catch the light is to print out oh god dear the light the light on the bottom there see it 3D XYZ so that is now a usable printer and it's been set up accordingly okay so subsequent to the benchy we got um, another little calibration test on the Atom X this is like a pyramid a very shallow pyramid and I'll just be able to measure whether it's 10 5 10 20 30 40 50 mil across so 80 mil square you can see it's flat as a pancake the auto leveling is working perfectly I'm going to attach the config to this video uh, so we'll see what that's like. Lost the screen again. But it did last for about 95% before we did. And it's still really readable. I'm not that bothered about it. That's calibration time. Zero it. I don't know how good it is. Squeeze it. 10 10.1. 10.1. 20.1. 30.1. 40 50.1 and I stupidly didn't note which is the X and the Y is 60 70 and if you hear that hum that's the A net cooling down and 80 and then this way That's not so good, is it? Oh, 10.1 faucet. 20.1. 30. 40. Oh, no. Oh. So I do this with one hand where you balanced on top of a paint can. 50. Should really get a camera. Uh, 60. In fact, I will get a camera. 70. And da, 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 stretch it with one hand. Oh, 80.2. Slipping, I don't mean that's that correct. 80.2 something, free. So there we go. Smooth as a baby's um, face. 
and uh, yeah, there you go, it looks like something out of uh, Tiwanaka. See you all later, cheers.